Hi everyone, this is Jack from techwithintent.com with a reason to celebrate for all you content creators that use the iPad. In my classroom with a one-to-one -one program, my students are always creating. And one of the easiest and most exciting ways to express themselves is with iMovie. So as of March 7th, there's an update to iMovie. There's also an update to GarageBand, both of which build on the latest iOS 5.1 software update that was released recently, and they allow you to combine the power of GarageBand and iMovie. First thing you need to do is make sure that you have the latest version of iOS. If you do not, but you're on iOS 5, you can go to the settings and go to general and click on software update, and it will allow you to download the update from there. Once you're there, you want to make sure you have the latest version of iMovie, which is 1.3 as of this recording. And when you've got that, you want to make sure you have the latest version of GarageBand, which is currently 1.2, also released on March the 7th. Everything's updated. This is where it gets exciting. So iMovie is really cool for making your own projects and recording and narrating over a project. Um, but until this latest update, the only music you could use was uh, stock music that came from Apple or something that's in iTunes. And with my one-to-one -one program where students are sharing an iTunes account, there's actually no music on these devices. And I'm going to walk you through how to get a song you've created in GarageBand into iMovie. Here I am at my GarageBand My Songs list, and I am going to edit them by clicking Edit. Once I've done that, I'm selecting the song that I've created and I'm going to click the little export button in the top left corner and there's a new button that says iMovie. When I click on that it's actually going to compress this down to a single track and send it over to iMovie ready to use. When that's done it opens up iMovie automatically and I'm going to drop it into the project I was just working on. Now that music's here I'm going to go ahead and delete my old soundtrack which was the default Apple Music And I'm going to move my song that I created into place. I can go ahead and test. In a sleepy town in the northern part of Norway, is Gekul. The people in Gekul. So there you have it. A custom soundtrack for a custom movie. This is the missing link that my students have been looking for in expressing themselves in a visual and auditory medium. Thanks for watching. Good luck.